Hi everyone, my name is Saba and I'm a registered dental hygienist. If you are new to the Tooth Files, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we are going to decode another 10 dental terminologies that you may hear during your dental appointment. Xerostomia. This is another word for dry mouth. I've made a whole video about xerostomia and how you can treat it. But for now, real quick, the three most common causes of dry mouth are dehydration, salivary gland malfunction, and some medications. Plaque. This is the soft, sticky, and sometimes yellowish buildup on your teeth. You can remove the plaque on your own with proper brushing and flossing. Calculus. Calculus or tartar is hardened plaque. If you don't clean the plaque on your teeth regularly, it will start to mineralize. This can start as early as 24 to 72 hours. And at that point, you won't be able to remove it with just brushing and flossing. For that, you will need to visit your dental hygienist and they will remove the calculus with special instruments. Supra gingival. Supra means above. And gingiva is another word for gums. So supra gingival means above your gums. This is where you first start seeing plaque buildup on your teeth. Subgingival. You might sometimes even hear sub G. This means below your gums. Occlusion. This means your bite. So when we are checking for occlusion, part of what we are looking at is how your upper teeth and lower teeth come together. Deciduous teeth. This is another way of saying primary teeth or baby teeth. The first baby teeth to erupt are usually the bottom front teeth and they come out at about 6 to 10 months. The last primary teeth to erupt are usually the very back teeth or second molars and they come in at about 25 to 33 months. Gingivitis. Remember we said gingiva means gums? Now itis refers to inflammation. So gingivitis is inflammation of your gums. This is when your gums get red, puffy, they bleed very easily, and they might even be tender. I have a video about gingivitis and how you can treat and prevent it. You can either click here to watch it, or I will leave a link for it in the bottom bar below so you can watch it later. Periodontitis. This is the advanced form of gum disease, and it means the structures holding your teeth, like your jawbones, are infected. Scaling and root planing, or SRP. SRP is a word we use for deep cleanings. If you have active periodontitis, your dental care provider may recommend deep cleaning or SRP. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!